you ready to hear God's word? Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10. And verses 5 to 7. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verses 5 to 7. Let's read together. One to go. There is an evil I have seen under the sun. As a nela proceeding from the lula. Folly is set in great dignity. While the leech sits in a lowly praise. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. I want to speak on taking our dominion. You will require to write down a few scriptures so that you can understand about taking dominion by the scripture. Taking dominion is our subject today. When we talk about dominion, we go to the book of Genesis and we understand what God said when he created mankind. Man was not created without dominion. The first thing that God did when he created man he blessed man Genesis 1 27-28 so God created man in his own image. Our God is a God of power. He is a God of authority. He created us in his own image. In the image of God we were created him male and female. And verses 28, the Bible says, and he blessed men. God blessed men. As far as God is concerned from heaven, he created a blessed man. Man is not a cast man from heaven. Man is a blessed man. I am a blessed man. You are a blessed man. So whatever came after, it can only obey the voice of God. Because what is permanently put in your life, it is the blessing. God created man and he blessed man. Blessing is permanent in the image of God. I said Blessings is permanent in the image of God. And you and I are God's image. So when they say you are cursed, tell them I are blessed from heaven. I can never encounter any form of curse because God blessed me in creation. He said to them, man be fruitful and multiply. May this scripture be your portion in the name of the Lord. That your hands will be fruitful. Your hands will multiply. He says fill the earth and subdue it. Subdue the earth. Not the earth subduing you. But you subdue the earth. And very important, he also says, Have dominion. Say, I have dominion. I say, Shout, I have dominion. He said, Have dominion over the fish of the, uh, of the sea, over the birds of the air, over 
every living being that moves on the earth. Na kila chenye uhai kitembea cho kwenye ardhi. He first said, subdue the earth. Jambo la kwanza kasi matisha ulimwengu. After you have subdued the earth, baada ya kutisha ulimwengu, have dominion over every creature. Kuwa na utawala juu ya kila kiumbe. That is on the earth. Iyo ni kwenye ulimwengu. So man has a command. Kwa hivyo binadamu ana amri. To have dominion over everything that is on the earth. Ya kuwa na utawala juu ya kila kitu kilicho ulimwenguni. So God gave us dominion. Kwa hivyo Mungu alitupa utawala. When the devil says you are irrelevant. Shetani akisema kwamba huna umuhimu. Tell the devil I was created as a dominator. Mwambie shetani kwamba niliumbwa kama mtawala. I will dominate everywhere I go. Nitatawala kila ninapoenda. I wish I had people who believe what I am saying through the scripture. Natamani ingekuwa na wanaamini ninachosema kwa maandiko. Say I am dom- I am dominating. Sema ninatawala. I dominate. Ninatawala. I subdue. Ninatisha. Whatever causes you pain. Kile kinachokuletea uchungu. It is in the earth. Kiko ulimwenguni. Subdue it in the name of Jesus. Ninatisha katika jina la Yesu. And dominate to God's glory. Na ukitawale kwa utukufu wa Mungu. The, the Bible says. Na Biblia inasema. A preacher in the Bible. Muhubiri katika Biblia. He said there is a evil I have seen under the earth. Akasema kuna uovu nimeona kwenye nchi. Ecclesiastes system verses 5. Muhubiri 10 mstari wa 5. There is a evil I have seen under the earth. Kuna uovu niliowaona chini ya jua. As a nera proceeding from the mouth of a ruler. Kama kosa linalotoka kwenye mdomo wa mtawala. He said I have seen a evil. Anasema nimeona uovu. And he want to narrate the evil that he saw. Na anataka kueleza uovu aliona. He said the kind of a evil that I saw. Anasema aina ya uovu niliona. It is like an era proceeding from the mouth of the ruler. Ni kama kosa linalotoka katika kinywa cha mtawala. When a ruler says a word. Wakati mtawala anasema jambo. That will bring confusion to the people. Ambalo litaleta kuchanganyikiwa kwa watu. It is an error. Linakuwa kosa. When a ruler speaks that which can affect mankind. Mtawala akisema kile kinachoathiri binadamu. It is an error. Linakuwa kosa. He says what I saw under the earth, uh, under the sun. Nilichokiona It is as an error proceeding from the ruler. Ni kama kosa linalotoka kwa mtawala. And verse 6 is saying. Na mshara wa 6 anasema. For he is set in dignity. Upumbavu umeinuliwa juu sana. While the rich sit in lowly places. Ile hali matajiri wamekaa sehemu za chini. That is a kind of a evil that he saw. Hiyo aina ya uovu aliyouona. He saw for he set in great places. Aliona mbavu ukiwa umeinuliwa juu it is highly exalted umeinuliwa juu that which is not to be exalted ile ambacho hakifai kuinuliwa he saw it exalted aliona kikiwa kimeinuliwa he saw foolishness exalted aliona ujinga ukiwa umeinuliwa the uh, uh, foolishness is put into dignity ujinga umepewa sehemu za heshima and not only dignity but into great dignity na sio heshima tu bali heshima iliyo juu the man that are not supposed to be honored. Watu ambao hawafai kuheshimiwa. They have been put into honor. Wamepewa nafasi za heshima. And he said this is a evil under the sun. Akasema huu ni uovu chini ya jua. It is like a error proceeding from the mouth of a ruler. Ni kama kosa litokalo kinywani mwa mtawala. I so for it set in great dignity. Niliona upumbavu kiwa katika sehemu za heshima. While it sit in lowly places. Ile hali matajiri wa kasemu za chini the rich are sitting on lowly places matajiri wameketi sehemu za chini but for he is exalted lakini upumbavu umeinuliwa what does that mean hiyo inamaanisha nini the for he is seated where it's not supposed to sit ya kwamba ujinga umeketi mahali ambapo haufai kuketi it has replaced the man who is supposed to be called the rich umechukua nafasi ya mtu anayefaa kuitwa tajiri the man who is supposed to be in 
dignity is replaced by folly. The man who is supposed to be called healthy is replaced by sickness. I come to address to our spirits today whatever depressed you will hear the voice of our maker in the name of Jesus. We are taking back our possessions. We are taking back our authority. We are taking back our dominion. And Solomon said this is an evil under the sun. I have seen an evil under the sun. And I have also come to agree with the preacher. I have seen an evil under the sun. Because where you are is not where you are supposed to be. There is another level for you. I said there is another level for you. Those that are in sicknesses, there is a level called health. You will get to your health in Jesus' name. So health, sickness have been exalted. It sits in dignity. It has been set on high. While the men that are supposed to be healthy, they are not experiencing their health. We will replace sickness. And we will sit where sickness was. In a place of dignity. So that we can be called the healthy of God. We will not exalt sicknesses. We will not exalt diseases. We will exalt the doing of the Lord upon our bodies. Say the Lord is my healer. The Lord is my healer. The Lord is my deliverer. Amen. Set is, uh, for he is set in great dignity. While the men that are supposed to be healthy, they are not enjoying their possessions. He said it is an error. It is an error. And verse 7, the Bible says, He has seen servants on horses. I have seen servants on horses while the princesses walk on the ground like servants. I have seen servants on horses. What does that mean? I have seen men that are supposed to be walking on the ground. They are riding on horses. And men that are supposed to be on horses they are walking on the ground so that is not your position there is a position you must take over say I will take over I am taking over servants on horses look at that uh, at that servant of yours he is on a horse but you as a master a princess I will tell you I will read the scripture for you to know you are a princess that when a princess is walking on the ground the servants are riding on horses look at that 
Tazama hilo. He said it is an evil. Akasema ni uovu. Under the sun. Chini ya jua. And I declare like the summit, the, like the summit. Na ninatangaza kama msaburi. And like Solomon. Kama Suleman. That error have to be corrected in the name of Jesus. Ya kwamba kosa lazima lirekebishwe kwa jina la Yesu. Say I correct the error. Sema narekebisha kosa. I correct the error. Ninarekebisha kosa. I was sit in my position. Nitaketi katika nafasi yangu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Shout hallelujah. Sema hallelujah sauti. He said I have seen servants on horses. Nimeona watumishi kwenye farasi. Wow, princesses walk on the ground like servants. Ili hali wana wa falme wanatembea kwa miguu kama watumishi. The, the, the princesses are walking on the ground. Wale wana wa falme wanatembea ardhini. Like servants. Kama watumishi. And in the book of Jeremiah 2 verses 14 to 17. Katika Jeremiah 2:14 hadi 17. Jeremiah chapter 2:14. Jeremiah sura ya pili mstari wa 14. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. Go with me read together with me want to go. Is Israel a servant? Je, Israel ni mtumwa? Is he a home born slave? Je, yeye ni mtumwa aliyezaliwa hapo? Is Josephine a servant? Je, Josephine ni mtumwa? Is Ephraim a servant? Je, Ephraim ni mtumwa? Is Joseph a servant? Je, Joseph ni mtumwa? Is he a home born slave? Je, yeye ni mtumwa mzaliwa hapo? Was he born to be a slave forever? Je, alizaliwa awe mtumwa milele? Were you born to be a slave forever? The what the scripture is asking. Je, ulizaliwa kuwa mtumwa milele? Andiko linauliza. Is are you a servant? Je, wewe ni mtumwa? On this content you are not a servant. Katika mazingira haya wewe si mtumwa. Say I am not a servant. Sema mimi si mtumishi. Is he a home born slave? Je, yeye ni mtumwa mzaliwa hapo? Is there are you born to be a slave? Je, umezaliwa kuwa mtumwa? Are your children born to be slaves? Je, watoto wako wamezaliwa kuwa watumwa? I decree Ninatangaza Your children will not work as house girls in Jesus name Watoto wako watafanya kazi za nyumbani katika jina la Yesu Your children will not work as shaba boys in Jesus mighty name Watoto wako watafanya kazi za mashambani kwa jina la Yesu I decree dignity upon your seat in the name of the Lord Ninatangaza heshima juu ya mbegu yako kwa I speak dignity upon your children in the name of Jesus Ninatangaza heshima kwa watoto wako katika jina la Yesu Is Israel a servant Je Israel ni mtumishi Is he a home born slave? Je, yeye ni mtumwa aliyezaliwa hapo? Why is he prodded? Kwa nini ametekwa? Why is he prodded? Kwa nini ametekwa? He can eat what they desire him to eat. Anaweza akala kile wanachotamani ale. He can wear what they desire of him to wear. Anaweza kuvaa tu kile wanachotaka avae. He can live where they want him to live. Anaweza kuishi tu mahali wanapotaka aishi. A servant prodded. Mtumishi aliyetekwa. He cannot make choices by himself. Hawezi akajiamulia mambo because he is a captive. Sababu yeye ametekwa. He cannot make decisions about his family. Hawezi akajiamulia mambo kuhusu familia yake. Because he's a captive. Kwa sababu yeye ametekwa. Are you a servant? Je, wewe ni mtumishi? Are you a home born slave? Je, wewe ni mtumwa uliyezaliwa hapo? 
Say I refuse to be a slave. Sema ninakataa kuwa mtumwa. There are some jobs that are slavery like. Kuna kazi fulani zinaonekana kama utumwa. I decree today. Ninatangaza leo. The Lord will take you to another level. Bwana atakupeleka nafasi nyingine. The Lord will take you to another level. Bwana atakupeleka nafasi nyingine. Just because they give you a salary. Kwa sababu tu wanakupa mshahara. They can abuse you the way they want to abuse. Wanaweza kutumia vibaya wakakutukana wanavyotaka. They can say what they want to say about you. Wanaweza sema watakalo kukuhusu. He said there is a level under the sun. Akasema kuna uovu chini ya jua. And I declare prophetically. Na ninatangaza kiunabii. Every man every woman under this anointing. Kila mke kila mme chini ya upako huu. Redemption from the spirit of slavery, from the spirit of a servant. It has come in the name of the Lord. Your redemption has come in the name of Jesus. Your redemption has come in the name of Jesus. Lift up your one hand and say, I declare today no slavery in my life. Hakuna utuma maishani mwangu. Amen. Amina. No one permitted to to be a master of your thinking. Hakuna aliyeruhusiwa kuwa bwana wa mawazo yako. Amen. Amina. You will honorably serve them. Utawatumikia kwa heshima. Because you are employed there. Kwa sababu umeajiriwa pale. But you are not a slave. Lakini wewe si mtumwa. I deliver you from slavery. Ninakukomboa utokana na utumwa. I say I deliver you from slavery. Sema nakukomboa utokana na utumwa. The hand of a slave master. Mkono wa Bwana wa utumwa. Will not prevail over your life. Hautatawala juu ya maisha yako. May you take your dominion. Uchukue utawala wako. I say may you take your dominion. Nasema uchukue utawala wako. Take your authority. Chukua mamlaka yako. In the name of Jesus. Can I hear a better amen? Sikia amina kwa sauti. Is he a home born slave? Yeye ni mtumwa aliyezaliwa pale. Is he a home born slave? Je, yeye ni mtumwa aliyezaliwa hapo? Why is he prodded? Kwa nini ametekwa? Why are they prodded? Kwa nini wametekwa? I hear the spirit of redemption all over. Ninasikia roho wa ukombozi kila mahali. The angel called to redeem for redemption Ma- to activate redemption of our Lord Jesus Christ upon this house today. Malaika aliyeitwa kuanzisha ule ukombozi juu ya maisha yetu leo to activate kukule kuamsha redemption was given by Jesus ukombozi ulipeanwa na Yesu but now as you receive the word lakini sasa unapopokea neno it is activated it you are destiny unaamshwa katika hatima yako shout a better hallelujah sema hallelujah kwa sauti you will not be a home born slave utakuwa mtumwa aliyezaliwa hapo I decree in the name of the Lord. Ninatangaza katika jina la Bwana. That they will try to locate in your household. Ya kwamba atajaribu kutafuta katika nyumba yako. Who can be a house help? Anaweza kufanya kazi yako. And they will not fight in Jesus mighty name. Atapata katika jina kuu la Yesu. Can I hear a better amen? Nisikie amina kwa sauti. When they are looking for one to work in their shabas. Wakitafuta kuwafanyia kazi mashambani. It will not be in your house. Hata kuwa kwenye nyumba yako. I say it will not be from your house. Sema hata toka kwenye nyumba yako. I say it will not be from your house. Sema hata toka kwenye nyumba yako. Say I declare. Sema ninatangaza. I am not a home born slave. Mimi si mtumwa aliyezaliwa hapo. My family is not home born slave. Familia yangu sio watumwa wazaliwa hapo. Amen. Amina. May you go to a higher level. Ufikie kiwango cha juu. May you go to a higher level. Ufikie kiwango cha juu. He said I have seen. Akasema nimeona. They sit they ride on horses. Wanaendesha farasi. Those who are supposed not to be those who are not supposed to be riding. Wale wasiofaa kuendesha. On horses they are riding. Kwenye farasi wanaendesha. 
He did not say, I have seen them ride on donkeys. He said, I have seen them ride on horses. Even today when you see a horse, you want to just look at it. Servants were riding on horses. While servants were not even having a bicycle. What were they doing? Walk on the ground like that means it is God's will for you not just to keep walking. Tell your neighbor, walking is necessary. But driving is also ne- more necessary. Amen. Amen. When they put their matatus on strike, no, nothing is going on. You can't go to work. Because horses are put on strike. May God give you your own horse. Say, I receive a horse for my assignment in Jesus' mighty name. Shout up at hallelujah. Proverbs 8:15 as I cross. The Bible says, By me, King's Lane. Kupitia kwangu wa falme hutawala. And rulers decree justice. Na watawala hutangaza haki. May you reign by the heart of God. Na utawale kwa mkono wa mungu. May you reign by the heart of God. Utawale upitia mkono. May you reign in the spirit world utawale, by the heart of God. Utawale rohoni kwa mkono. May you reign on earth by the heart of God. Utawale ulimwenguni kwa mkono wa mungu. Take position in Jesus name. Chukua na fasi kwa jina la Yesu. Take dominion in your prayer life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. And the people of God shout Amen.